Okay, let's do this one. It says, um, draw the most stable conformation of the following molecule, trans, 1-butyl, 3-methyl cyclohexane. So, let's go ahead and write this. It wants us to write it in a chair structure eventually, right? But let's go ahead and just write this as um, bond line, okay? So, first thing we're going to do is write the cyclohexane. Like that. And then it's trans, so they're going to be on opposite sides of the ring. Okay? So one butyl, so we'll make that. Uh, so one, two, three, four, and three methyl. Like that. Okay? Is everybody okay with that structure? Now we're going to draw uh, the chair structure. So there's your cyclohexane chair. So now, remember these are carbons one and three. So I always like to start carbon one there, okay? So one, two, three. So this is three, this is one. That's where our substituents are. Okay, so one is pointed up, three is pointed down. So up on this one is gonna be what? Axial or equatorial? Axial. So I'll just draw CH2, 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 CH3 for each, okay, instead of drawing. Okay, so, and then down here on this one, is that going to be axial or equatorial? Up would be what? Equatorial. So wait, up would be axial, so yeah, so this one would be equatorial. Yeah, so you were. Okay, so we're going to draw CH3 like that. Okay, remember your equatorial bonds are always parallel to two bonds away. So this one's going to be parallel to that one then. Okay, and that one. Does that make sense? Remember that rule. Okay. So, it, which one's bigger? Methyl, so we have, in this situation now we have one axial and one equatorial, right? And if we do a chair flip, the axial goes to what? Equatorial and equatorial goes to axial. So we've got to ask ourselves, is this the, the most stable or less stable conformation? And how do we know? Remember, we want the smaller group to be in a what position? Axial position. Do we have the small group in an axial position here? No, so what are we going to do? Chair flip, right? So we're going to do a chair flip, and we're going to put the bigger group in the equatorial position like we want. So if that happens, that's going to be the more stable confirmation. And now I can't remember if we're looking for the more stable or least stable. So. But we'll do both of them. Okay. Most, most stable. Okay, good. Okay, so remember one goes to here, so axial goes to equatorial. One, two, three, and equatorial goes to axial. Okay. So hopefully I, it's all still in frame. Yeah. Okay. Are there any questions? So this, remember, is called a ring flip. Okay. And again, let's just box what it asks us to draw the most stable. So this is the most stable. It's in a chair, and it's got the big group equatorial. Question? Can I kill it? You all seem very dumbfounded, but I'll kill it anyways. <laughs>